Hi everyone and welcome to this week's video, which is a silent dorm tour. <laughs> the day I was filming this, everyone was chilling and I'm shy, okay? Also, just a note to believe in yourself and subscribe because I swear to god I'll talk in next week's video. I, 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 I pinky swear. Starting with the entryway in my room, there are these built-in hooks by the door. This was extremely exciting for me because in US college, I had to bring my own hooks. Here's some things that I like to keep here. My various jackets, a tote bag, which I use for my shower toiletries, laundry, and just like some random day-to-day -day things. Also this umbrella that I bought at a charity shop for five pounds, which was extremely exciting. But then the second I used it in the rain, it flipped inside out, lovely. Also here is my first little bulletin board. I was very excited when I thought about this first item. I used a thumbtack to hold my key and my current mask, which are my two most important like daily essentials. So cute. Um, a craft my friend made for me because crafts roll. And then a plastic bag full of fortunes that I read daily. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back. Um, today it says a cynic is only a frustrated optimist. Excellent. So above my desk, there are three pretty robust shelves for storage. I use the bottom one for my food supplies like tea, coffee, and condiments, and my makeup. Here, I am showing off my beautiful to-go travel mug, which is honestly the most useful thing I have bought for myself. I highly recommend one with a handle that way. You can use it like a regular mug if you're just like chilling in your room and you want to have some coffee or tea, but then, you know, if you're a, a lady about town. The second shelf I use for my sweaters and miscellaneous items. Then because I'm so short, I pop important paperwork that I don't want to look at all the way on the top shelf because I'm an engineer. The best part of my room is this chair that I moved to the window for sitting. Having this extra chair is just, it's so excellent. It's just, it's just gorgeous. So the next area is the storage and closet space. My room came with four hangers, which is working out fine for me right now because I didn't bring a ton of clothes to begin with. And the little shelves provide enough storage space for most of my clothes to fit in, but I can see if you bring like your whole entire wardrobe to college, it might not go over well. the top shelf for more practical things like paper towels, non-perishable food, and hand sanitizer, um, and some weird soups that I don't know if I will actually put inside of my body because I'm, I'm stressed. Um, yeah. There are these really tall storage spaces, but I don't really have stuff up there because I am like three feet tall. Not really, I'm 5'2". Now we have the sink area. To keep, I get to keep all my to toiletries laid out here, which is so nice. Most of my freshman year in the US, I had to bring most of my stuff into the bathroom if I wanted to use it. It comes with a light, a little built-in shelf, and a towel bar. Also a full-length mirror, which is just literal straight up luxury for dorm life. So now I'm going to like my bed area. So starting underneath, there is my suitcase. Hey queen. Then you get a little dresser with three drawers and a shelf above your bed for a little extra stuff. So I have like my fun little books, my iPad and some other good stuff. This can get a little awkward to get comfortable against, but if you have enough pillows, it's fine. You get a lamp and a couple of outlets, which I use US adapters for. I just brought them with me. Um, and I think I ordered them from Amazon. Sorry, side note. I used the second bulletin board for my photos and fairy lights. Honestly, it's like a little basic, but you know what? The lighting they provide and the good vibes and the with the photos, it's just worth it. 
especially in a night when I don't necessarily want to have my lamp shining right on me if I'm watching a show. It just, it's nice lighting. Behind my bed, I keep my journal, but you can't read that because it's for my secrets. Okay. 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 I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm about to give you the most useful tip for dorm life that you will ever get if you want to sleep at all, which some of you literally don't ever want to sleep and that's valid, but as a grandma, I need my eight hours to function. Okay, so step one, download the white noise app. It offers noise like a fan, air conditioning, ocean waves, you know, if you're feeling spicy and it'll just like stay on for about eight hours and it just makes white noise so you can sleep. And then I also use, you know, cause double trouble. I use wax earplugs. Yeah, so these you can just buy a pack of them and pop on your white noise and you can literally sleep through almost anything. Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da